derivatives. So these are those derivatives which are part of the skin and especially the part of the dermis of the, that skin. So first one comes the dermal bone. The stracoderms had a complete head shield that is a part of the dermal bone. Placoderms have the broken head shields and that is a part of the dermal bone. Uh, turtles ke jo shells hai, jo antlers ke upar jo armor hai, they are all uh, dermal bones. Okay? Uh, antlers in the antelope or the deers, they are all the dermal bone. Now the difference in between the antler and the horn which we studied earlier is that antler is uh, an annual structure jo ke animal ki life mein har saal banta hai aur phir ye to gir jata hai. Okay, once grown, uh, when they grow, they have the skin on top of that, that is called the velvet. And uh, at some specific time, that velvet uh, is shed and only the naked bone remains. And after some years, the naked bone also falls down and then they develop a new antler for the next year. Okay, now can you think, about the, think of the difference between the horns and the antlers? Both have the dermal bones at the core. Okay. On top of that, the dermis layer with the vascularization is present in the both. Right? Then the external layer of epidermis ki on the horns that, is, that becomes keratinized and stays there for the life of the animal and becomes the external layer of the horn. Antler ka jo velvet hai, that does not keratinize and it is shed basically. It, it uh, vanishes from the horn leaving that empty or the naked bone on the animal. Uh, horns do not shed, antlers shed. Horns are toot jain, they can grow back. Antlers, if, if they break, they do not grow back. They just are shed and developed from the base. Okay, ji. Secondly is the shells, skewers and bony plates. They are the specialized dermal derivatives of the animals from reptiles. You see that, that uh, shell of a turtle is made up of that specific bone. These spiny structures in the middle uh, figure, middle image from the crocodile, these uh, are also the dermal bones. They are called um, skewers, and the bony plates in the lizards or other uh, reptiles, they are all types of the bones produced from the dermis. Then the fish scale is another type of the scale that is developed from the dermis and since it is beneath the epidermis layer see the diagram on the right the pinkish part is the dermis the brownish part is the scale and the bluish part is the epidermis so epidermis is kind of transparent and it covers all the scales and hence scales do not shed fish do not have to shed their skin they grow with their skin so every year they get an extra ring around one center so in an adult fish if you see the concentric scale you can count the number of the rings and you can guess the life of that fish okay so this is a difference between the dermal scale and epidermal scale so epidermal scales are present in reptiles dermal scales are present in fish epidermal scales are shed as that of the single plate or single layer uh, dermal scales are not shed. Epidermal scales does not grow with the animal's life, so there are no concentric rings in epidermal scales in reptiles. But in the dermal scale, the scale grow with the life of the animal, and they add on the extra material, keratinized material, to give concentric ring appearance, and it can be used to uh, guess the life of the animal. Okay, I think that's clear enough. So we we'll move ahead. Then the type of the scales is the placoid scales that are present in the sharks. You remember we studied that in, in the, when we studied the uh, classification of uh, nithostomes in Lesmabranchii. So they are made up of the dermal scales, but the difference is that the dermal scale has a further layer on top of that is made up of uh, enamel-like structure or dentine-like structures that give them very rigid appearance. In that uh, diagram at the bottom, you see there are four parts. The first that explains the development of a placoid scale. In the first diagram, you see the aggregation of the dermal mesenchymal cells at one point. So, okay, students, uh, mesenchymal cells are those cells which are basically stem cells. They can develop into anything. They are undifferentiated cells. So, multiple of those cells accumulate at one point, like in the figure, figure uh, on the top left. 
you see so these cells then start uh, pushing the epidermis outside making a uh, hump like structure right then that hump like structure and underneath epidermis uh, mesenchymal cells makes the dermal papilla then that grows continue grows and pushes the skin outside and makes the thick uh, scale of placoid scale of the animal